Thank you so much for staying with us. Now, we know that you're busy and you're always on the go, but that shouldn't get in the way of you being able to transfer money from one place to the other or shop online. And that's why Absence Digital Channels are available for you to just take your phone and with a click of a button, you can move money from one place to the other and also shop online. Visit www.apsa.com.gh to find out more about Apsa's digital channels and also go onto their website. It's really, really easy. You can call them and they will update you on how to get on the digital channels. That's Africanacity, that's Apsa. Now for our creative lifestyle segment today, we're going to look at a young man who's using stones to do something really brilliant. I mean, when we talk about taking good use of our environment and, and really adding value to the things we see around us, it doesn't get any better than him. And if you have any questions throughout our conversation with him, please use the hashtag Breakfast Daily and the WhatsApp line 0550 for us to hear from you. Talking about Kojo, Eric, Eric Kojo Afrani. He's the lead artist at Platinum by Nekad. Good morning, Eric. Good morning, madam. How are you? I'm good. Yourself? A lot of young Ghanaians nowadays don't like their English names. So I, was, <laughs> I, I just glanced over your <laughs> first name and went straight to Kuju. Okay. I hope I can call you Kuju. Yeah, oh, I'm fine, yeah. <laughs> so you're looking at all these beautiful pieces that you... Where did you even start from to think you can use stones to create beautiful pieces? Great. The art has been with me for a long while now. Mm -hmm. Um... Right from childhood, I used to draw a lot with pencils and all. And so I moved on to um, Pope John Secondary School and Junior okay. Seminary in mm -hmm. Koforidia. And then I pursued visual arts. Mm -hmm. And over there, we, we still continued with portraits, drawing, landscape and all. And one of the techniques we learned was uh, mosaic, mm -hmm. but that was just with Paper music. Okay. Yeah, so that has been with me for, that has stayed with me for all this while. But this particular one started, I think, just about three years ago. What happened yes. three years ago? <laughs> what happened was that I looked around and found out that almost all the art pieces we see around are either in pencils mm -hmm. or in paints. Yeah. And so I thought of, I'm a fashion designer as well. So First of all, what aren't you? Let's start from there. <laughs> Where did the fashion designer come from? <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, so let me continue. <laughs> let me continue. I'm just like, do I want to get into that or should I continue? <laughs> but you can briefly tell us, because it influences what, what you're yeah, doing now. Great. Um, fashion is still part of art. Mm -hmm. And so I continued from Pope John to KNUST, okay. where I did integrated rural art and industry. What uh, inspired you to even pick that major? What, what was going through your mind when you decided I would actually oh, okay. major in this? All right. So with, with, with the art, I saw art as me. Mm -hmm. I saw myself in art. And so that encouraged me the most to pursue art. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and if I should continue from that of KNUST. I pursued rural art and industry. Mm -hmm. It says integrated rural art and industry, okay. meaning we, um, I did a whole lot of, I used a whole lot of media okay. to create art forms. Like what kinds? Um, we did textiles, okay. so that's where the fashion came in. Mean? Yeah, and then we used um, bamboo and rattan. Nice. That's the rattan which we, we, we call cane, mm -hmm. the cane. The that candle is, the teachers. Yes, use, yes. We, we did that. I also did um, leather. Wow. Yeah, so where we did shoes, we did bags. So when I was in Ken West, I used to produce bags, lecture bags, mm -hmm. and I'll take you to the shops around. So, so those you were a hustler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Selling your bags, right? Before yeah, you so, <laughs> yeah. When you go to most of the supermarkets in Ken West, you have my brand you. there, yeah. So... I, I think you, most of you who completed KNUST around 2007, 2008, you might have bought used my bag. NECAD, you might have seen that. So that's where the NECAD started? Yes, that's where it started. What was the meaning of it? Ha! Mami Jifa. That's interesting. <laughs> okay. Well, way back in... Um, Pope John. Okay, Koforidia. That's yes. how back in 
You know, as teenagers <laughs> who are in SS, most of us will pick nicknames and also mm -hmm. um, I was nicknamed um, Noble. Noble. Noble, N O B L E. That's how I get my, my, my colleagues called okay, me. Okay, Noble. Yes. Okay. And so I added that to my names. Mm -hmm. So Noble Eric Kwejo Afrani, and then my profession as a designer, designs. Mm -hmm. Ah, so that's So it's just an acronym, yeah. NECAD. NECAD, that's where it wow. came from. So Noble, Noble Eric, Eric Kwejo, Kwejo Afrani, Afrani designs. designs. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> so three years ago, what happened? What did you see? We all see stones every day. It, yeah. does, it never clicks in our mind that, let me create our pieces out of stones. Yeah, so three years ago, I've always been thinking about mosaic art, okay. mosaic art. And usually what came to mind was still with the beats, because that was what was you know, actually available. Mm -hmm. And then I also thought of something else too. And that's another media to use in place of beats. Mm -hmm. So I thought about buttons. Okay. Because sometimes I go to town and the kind of buttons that I see really are interesting. And yeah. like, ah, can't this be used for, for, something, for right? something else? Yes. And so when I was working with the, beat, with the buttons, it gave me some sort of difficulty mm. where I need to get a, a smaller buttons. Yeah. So it, it pushed me to think around it. And maybe it is not helping, mm -hmm. helping me. So let me use, let me think of something else. So that's where the stone came, okay. came in. Like, oh, really, stone, it would be interesting. But I was like, how is it going to work? That's what we're all wondering. How is it going to work? How is it going to work out? <laughs> so I just gave it a try. Mm -hmm. And then it came out well. It came out. But then it, it took a longer time to produce that. How, how, how many Absol hours? About three, about three months. Three months? Yes, that's how long it took me to do that. Why? So, because uh, hmm, getting them in that particular shape. So you need a specific type yes. of stone in a specific shape? Yes, so it, it, it was really difficult. But what kept you going those three months? Because regular people would have been like, listen, let me go back to the beads. Let yeah, me stick let me to what's yeah. familiar. I can't wait this long. <laughs> Okay, um, actually, I, I usually, was, I'm daring. Mm. I'm really, really daring. So when I saw that this can, can make a, a difference, I was like, no, still, if I'm able to do this even in three months, then let me still stay to it because mm -hmm. it's great having um, natural things around you. Yeah. Do you get it? You having this piece, not in pencil, not in paint, but in natural objects, make, makes the difference. So I was like, no, let me push this further. So I didn't stop because the stone was interesting mm -hmm. to me. So I pursued and began to break it, crack it, and all. And so that's are where. Are you like, do you have any experience in, I don't know, Mason? And <laughs> <laughs> you were a builder as well, in addition to fashion design? No, not at all. Well, all but my passion, are yes. My passion is. I can really imagine you like yeah, breaking so stone. You can't see me cracking sure, the sto stones. stone guys are looking at you like, what is this guy doing? <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Sometimes you see me outside the house cracking stones, and people are like, ah, what's this guy? He's doing? finally gone yeah. mad. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Until they get to know what I'm actually into. Using that's, yeah. So so that's, 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 how, that's how I came up with this. And when people saw it, they were like, ah, really? What's this made of? Mm -hmm. from, from afar, you might think it's the usual pencil or something. Because it looks so good. Yeah. But then when you get closer and you are told it's made with um, stones. You won't it, believe yeah, it. Yeah, you get trails. So how that's, are you able to get all the details? And I mean, we're looking at some of your pictures here. Great. How? Okay, actually, you need to be an artist to be able to do this. Okay, you can't just be any regular no, 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 person. No, no, because I remember way back in SS, we, I used to draw a lot, and my colleagues named, nicknamed me King of Portraits. Wow. So when it came to portraits, you, pencil you, portraits, you killed that space. I, was, I, was, I was there. So I actually understood the technique of painting, mm -hmm. shading, tones. You need to understand what art is. Mm -hmm. You need to understand what color is. You need to be able to blend your colors, your hues, and all of your values so that you can actually get to this stage. Mm -hmm. So it's, 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 it's a lot of work that has gone into, into, into this, yeah. Wow. How, how did your very first few customers react when you decided to go commercial with it? Because it's one thing to be passionate about, it's another thing to 
receive your first payment from, from your work? Ah, I was so happy. And I tell you, it wasn't that much compared to the, pri the price I'm, I'm quoting now. But I was, I was so happy. Why? Because I could produce something with this and someone would be interested in buying. Mm -hmm. So I went, I was like, wow, even if it's 50 CDs and someone has been convinced enough to purchase such an item, it was also my joy to me. So I was like, really? Great. <laughs> and now your prices are now well deserving of yes, you <laughs> the know the work you put in the, the hours work, exactly the materials yes. And now I don't I don't in a week your work should be ready in one week yes that's how, how yes that's how fast because you have people work. helping you now or? I have people work, um, helping Working me in now you. but that's not just that I've been able to understand this art form mm -hmm. so i've been able to <laughs> and how it first is it because for me i like the fact that we are turning to nature to produce art and we're not necessarily you know using all these glass i mean stones are all around us how True. does it make you feel when people give you such uh, yeah feedback? i feel so much fulfilled yesterday the customer called me when i sent her her work and she was like wow <laughs> She was thrilled. She's, yeah. she, and she's waiting to receive. She's not seen the acts in the actual work yet. I'm sure she's looking at you now like this guy. He's on TV <laughs> talking about my piece. He's not brought it. <laughs> she's, she was thrilled. Yeah. And I was like, wow. He said, do you know the Lord? You're, you're talented. I mean, Thank what you. advice do you have for young people out there who have crazy dreams? Because I'm sure... Years ago, when you were in Koforidua, you didn't know that this would be you today. No. So what would you tell them about <laughs> believing in their dreams? Um, what I want to tell them is just to believe in their dreams. They should pursue their passion. Yeah, they, sh they should pursue it. No matter how difficult they think the environment is, the environment might be some way, but here still, push it further. Mm, push how it. impactful has social media been? Very, very, hugely <laughs> impactful <laughs> because... <laughs> I'll just do the work, upload it, and that's all. Somebody will call you. Someone will like... call me from wherever. And, and yeah, no, I don't. I, I, I now say that I don't need to come to your office to, to, convince, to you. convince you. Yes, because of the power of social media, right? Because there are some people you can't go to their offices. Yeah. You but can't. The protocols can alone. You. Yeah. You can't break those protocols because of so, so but you've social media. You've been to a lot of offices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're so proud media. of you. Thanks we're a million. So, so proud Thanks of you. A I know you're saying it's all because of God, but you, you also worked hard, you know, and the, the quality of your product mm. speaks for itself. Thanks so a it, it's one thing to, to have faith, it's mm. one thing to believe to, in miracles yeah. and luck, and another thing to you have to be, be resilient. Hard work. You need to you need hard. to work hard. Mm. Work hard. Work, work, and work hard. Until you achieve it, don't quit. Okay. No. Kojo, where do you follow you on social media? Okay, um, I'm on IG, Instagram, basically. And the handle is nekad, N-E-K-A-D, dot platinum art. Mm. N-E-K-A-D, nekad, dot platinum art. Yeah, that's where I am. Thank you so yeah. much for being with us. You want to say something? Go ahead. Oh, I just wanted to. <laughs> Give shout out. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before I, before I even do that, I want to introduce one of my, I, actually my latest work. Okay, show us. Which is this one. This one here. Yeah, this one here. Okay. It's made of everything on it. Um, it's made of stones. It's heavy. Stones, stones, stones. And it's for outside. Okay. As in, it's an epitaph, mm. this very work. Okay. So usually what people just write on the tombs now, mm. you can have your relatives, wow. your deceased, person's um, image engraved there. So what you see over there is for outside. Okay. No matter how the because everything here is natural. Yeah. The everything black stones natural. natural. So no matter where the how the weather might be, it will survive. It will still weather. survive. Okay. So if you want something beautiful for your graveyard, yeah. See me. And those of us platinum. who are still alive, which ones? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all these are for us. All these are for the rest <laughs> yeah. of us. This beads, this um, stones entirely, this um, um, a mixture of beads and, and then stones. stones. I like the mixture. Yeah, great.
Now, I've seen you go to so many TV stations and you have pictures of the host. <laughs> but me, you came empty handed. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry, sorry. I'm messing with you. Thank you so much for welcome, being welcome, with welcome. us. Hi there. We hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Join us for breakfast daily only on City TV.